you can use any color you want. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. How are you all today? We were a little bit late there because Harris came up with a brilliant idea um, to go and find our doorstop. I don't think you can see you. Can you stick your head in further? Um, and we, couldn't, we couldn't remember where it went. <laughs> so we had to go and find it. It's brilliant inspiration. I've been running around all morning trying to find books on owls. And actually Harris just came down and went, Mum, where's your doorstop? So today, now it's going to be a fast and a furious one. I'm going to speak really, really, really quickly. And because we want to get outside in the garden, let's face it. We want to get outside. And also we have Mirren here who's um, been a bit temperamental this morning. So we're going to zip through it as quickly as possible. Good morning, little Sophie. It's nice to see you again. My wee star pupil in primary one, she's always on. Even does the primary four to seven lessons. Can you believe it? She did that beautiful portrait last week and she's only in primary one. Woo! I think that um, I'm going to get a replacement quite soon in you, Sophie. Mrs. Patterson will be getting you to do all the art lessons when we come back to school. Not me. I'll maybe just get to sit in the staff room and have an extra cup of tea. She'll give me paperwork. Right, let's get cracking. Right, so today you need, you don't need much, this is probably the least amount of materials that we've needed for an art lesson since this all started. So today all you need is a plate to draw around. I'm going for a plastic one because we've got bad, bad form on breaking china ones. Um, a piece of paper, I've gone for brown, but it doesn't have to be brown. It doesn't have to be brown, it could be whatever colour you want your L to be, okay? And you only need one piece of paper, by the way. I think I might have put that you need two, but you only need one. We also are going to need some glue for the end, some scissors, and some drawing materials. I've got a little bit crazy here um, with lots of different ones. Harris is already asking why I've got blue, just because I love blue. I like using blue and lots of things. These are actually chalk markers. If you're looking to buy anything nice, chalk markers are lovely. We love using them. And if you have them, and you don't have to have these because you can draw them on, if you have them, some goggly eyes. So this is what your little owl will look like at the end. Just made it of one piece of paper. A little bit like origami, but not as swanky. Okay, right, first things first. What you want to do is you want to get your plastic plate and you want to pop it in the middle of your paper to cut it out. Now, a wee tip for you, put it way down at the bottom of your paper. Oh, we're back, we're back, sorry, bad, bad connection this morning. So as I was saying, have your plate away down at the bottom. Don't have it in the middle. A, you'll waste all your paper, and B, you'll have to cut further to get to the circle. We don't like that. So have it away down at the bottom. Then you actually only have to snip a little bit. So draw around it. I'm just gonna use something um, like a crayon or something to draw around. Harris, I'll give you this in a second to draw around, sweetheart. So I'm just gonna draw around my plate, right down at the bottom because then A, I have all that paper spare, which we can use for another activity, or we can use it for decorating our owl. And B, most importantly, you don't have to cut as far to get to it. So right-handed scissors for me. Harris, my wee lefty, will need the left-handed scissors. Sophie, you're a left-handed as well, I think. I'm sure Sophie and Penny one in my school's a left-handed, Harris. And she's very creative as well. Well done. Creative people tend to be more left-handed. It's a, a fact, I think. Okay. In fact, I'm sure there's a fact out there that the creator of Facebook, Windows, and something else are all left-handers. Sure it's a well-known fact. Right, circle's cut out. I'm going to keep this aside for step two. There's not very many things to it to do, to be honest. Right, on one side of your circle, I want you to decorate it. Now, I want you to think about the patterns and the lines and the textures that you would see on an owl. So, one of my favourite books, one of our favourite books, I should say, are Owl Babies. So, if you have a wee think about all of the patterns, all of the lines that you might see on owls, and try and recreate those in your art. Don't just, you know, get the crayon and just take it for a walk and wiggle it about. That'll still look awesome. Try your best to think about all the marks that you make. Excellent cutting out, Harris. I should at this point say as well, when you're cutting out your circle, try your best. Try your best to stay on the line because it really will affect the end result if it's a bit winky-wonky. 
Right, gotta go in with some, I love, you know, I love my oil pastels. So on one side, and just, give you a wee tip, just focus on the inside of it. Don't go right to the edges, you're actually gonna fold this. So on the inside, just do lots and lots of little lines that are marks, mark making, that you would expect to see on your owl. I'm just going to look for lots and lots of lines. You guys can do whatever you want. And I've also looked out colours in my box of tricks. Perfect cutting hands. So on the inside, I just want to introduce some marks for Mummy. Okay, I knew you go for the chalk markers. He loves the chalk markers. We might need a wee bit of a shake first, Harris. Because we've been using them quite a lot in lockdown. Is it working? Push the pen down as you're using it. No, the pen the, down like that. And that's how you get the colour out. Yeah, you've been using them quite a lot. Right, so um, I'm gonna get another colour in there. When I do this in the classroom, normally uh, get one or two boys and girls that just go, blah, 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 done. Nah. Really go for it. The more decoration you have, the more special these will look. And I want you to think about trying to get a nice contrast also with your owl. So on this part, I'm using these two colours and I'm doing these marks. But for step two, I'm going to suggest that you do something completely different. Okay. So you'll notice I've just gone down the middle. That's because I know that I'm going to fold those edges in. But um, I'm just going to do a little bit more to the outer edges. Just in case. Just in case I don't quite hit the marks. There we go. Right. Lovely. Right, next up, what you're going to do, Harris, just you take your time finishing that, darling. I'm going to speak to the boys and girls. Just you take your time. Next up, what we're going to do, once you're happy with your decoration, is you're just going to fold it right down the middle and try and keep your fold in the middle of your decoration. Okay, I'm just going to give Harris a few more minutes. And that gives me time to maybe do a few more marks. Let's get some cutie. And this is Harry's watching. Yeah, he's watching. And Auntie Jackie, gosh, we've got lots of watchers today. I wonder if they're making owls. Auntie Jackie, yeah, yeah. You should have been joining in. See what you've got to add to the party. The owl party. Now, Mrs. Hardy's watching. Mrs. Hardy, this is a lovely lesson to do with clay. I do this with clay a lot. Obviously, I can't do that at home because of lockdown. But yeah, get the boys and girls to roll out a sheet of clay, cut out a circle of it press and print you know textures into one side and then do something different for step two and then you can either paint them when they're dry if you're lucky enough to have a kiln in school which we don't you could air dry them really really looks nice with a glaze on top um, but we can't do them i've just done them and painted them afterwards right perfectionist harris is really really going for it right next up what i'm going to do is i'm going to fold this down the middle like we're making Okay, so that's been folded down the middle. So Harris, if you've done enough decoration, I'm just going to get you to fold it down the middle like that. Okay, the fold's not too important. It's just to let you know where to go next with it. Then what you're going to do, this is when things get a little bit fiddly, you're just going to bring one side to the fold and put a nice crease. So this is going to be our wing. That's going to be our wing. Okay, so you're just going to bring in one side for the wing, like that. Now this side needs to be decorated. You can leave it plain, but I wouldn't suggest that. So open up now, darling, and bring in a side to the wing. Okay, and then surprise, surprise, you're going to do that with the other side as well. Try and get nice and straight. Okay, so see what I mean? You're losing a lot of the side. So don't, when you're decorating it, don't focus too much on the sides. Now, what I want you to do actually is open it up on the other side and down those two panels, that one and that one, decorate it. And again, think about the patterns that you want to use. Think about the colours that you've used already. You might want a nice contrast here. So I haven't used a lot of black and white. Beautiful. Right, so now what I want you to do is put some more patterns and blend on that side and that side. Comprendi? Comprendi. Why don't you use a different oh, Right, so I'm going to think about what I've not used already. I'm going to go for long lines. Mm -hmm. You can do whatever you want, babe. 
I don't know what side to go with. So I'm just gonna go for long lines here. It's gonna be another corker of a day out there. Um, so that's why I'm making this nice and quick today. It shouldn't take too long. And once it's done, it's done. We can just go and relax in the garden. So it was a bit hot yesterday, wasn't it? Black, there's black. Let's get it looking a bit more dramatic this side. And I'll post this lesson online afterwards so people can catch up because I understand that not everyone is going to be on today at all. Why on earth would you? And now that I have decorated both those sides, I'm quite happy with that actually. I'm just putting another bright white there, bright white. So now what I'm going to do is, on this side, I'm just going to fold those over and that'll show you how that's going to come together. So you need a little bit of glue. I don't think you're going to see that, Harris. Because it's going to go like that. So I wouldn't put anything on that side. You're not going to see anything. But do the lines of my feet on both bits. Kind of what I've seen them. Right, so now you're just going to put a little bit of glue on those wings and shut them. I've seen this done with paper plates as well, which can be quite nice. Paper plates and clay's the best one, or FIMO, or you can do it with play doors and something like that. It's really, really, really cool. Right, so we've got this so far. Right, Mr. Mister, you're happy? Put glue on there. Does that pit stick need wound up a little bit? that bit shut. It's a good boy. Love it. And then you can get a nice crease, get a really, really nice fold in there. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Obviously as well, we've, we've gone for side plate size here. You could go smaller, you could go bigger. You could do a whole family. Okay. Brilliant. Right, next up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top. Oops, Daisy. We're going to take the top and just fold that down like that. So that'll get the head in place. It's hard to fold now because you've got quite a lot of paper there. So just go down, bring it down a little bit further. Hard. It's about halfway. Oh, actually, those lines are showing up. So that could maybe be part of your design for this bit. Okay. Now, this and is the, the yeah, but why don't you decorate it before you glue it down? Okay, so that'll form part of the head. So now on this section, just on that section there, you might want to do some more patterns. Now look at how it's going to look overall. And again, think, how can I make that look a little bit different than the rest of it? So I think for this one, I'm going to do lots and lots and lots of little triangles with my... Down yes, you can go down now. Hold, the, hold on for me though. I'm going too fast. I'm maybe colour them in as well. Happy? Mm -hmm. Why don't you add a little bit more colour? No? Okay. Just while you're waiting on mum, because I'm taking forever, because I'm wanting to do a good job of this. It's already glued his down shut. I'll glue mine down shut. Oops a daisy. I keep saying that at the minute. I didn't keep saying oops a daisy angel yesterday. It was hilarious. It's the song that you did for your nativity this year, wasn't it? Oh, when I say she sang it, she didn't really sing it very well. Can I get the bronze as well? I love that. Can I use that? I forgot you had that one. Just to add a little bit of sparkle now. You okay? 
Okay, right, next up. So if you've glued your head down, and you should have a few wee bits of paper left over, so it should be all glued shut now. Okay, so you'll have a little bit of paper left over to make your beak and your ears, and if you want to, feet. Now, a little tip for you to make this symmetrical and to save a lot of cutting hassle. Fold your paper down the middle. Now, on the fold, just cut off a corner like that, and you end up with a little beak. Okay, so that can then get shut down. Now, before you stuck it down, maybe you'll want to add colour to that. Just to make it a bit more special. So, Harris, fold that paper that you've got in half somewhere and then cut the corner off with the fold. Okay, so I've coloured that in a little bit and I'm just going to glue that down now oh, onto my... Do oh, you can just do that, yeah. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down there, stick that down in the middle. Oops. Okay. And before you stick it down, push it, push it together a little bit. Try and get it in the centre as well, and that way I'll give it a little bit of a 3D element to it. If you want to stick it down flat, it's fine. Right, also with the, the bit of paper that you folded over in half, cut the corner off and you'll get two triangles for the price of one, which will be good. That's a hard shape. And then you can colour it in and stick it on. You get two triangles for the price of one for ears, just by cutting off those corners. Now when you place your ears on... Can I have Yes, we are. When you stick your ears on, turn it on its side. Sorry, I'm going the wrong way around. And then just stick it up at the top like that. What? Mm, sounds like your pussy cat. How did you? Where is he? Go and go check. Sounds like he's really good. Oh, he's up at the window. Silly cat. <laughs> he's up at the wee window. You'll need to wait. Need to right, so we've stuck the ears on, and again, if you want to, you could add some pattern into those. You don't have to. You're doing a really, really nice job today. Hello. You're happy? Have I gone too fast? Yeah. Okay, I'll slow down a bit then. Don't worry, stick that. Is that your beak? Oh, mm -hmm. I like the way you've done those little ear holes on its beak. Right, so we can stick that there. Perfect. Maybe stick it down so it's not flat. Push it in like that. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Okay, right. And what I did now for my ears was I just cut two triangles off of that. Um, I don't know how you've ended up with this. Right, see where it opens? Just go snip and then you get two triangles for the price of one. Buy one, get one free. Right, ho. Mm -hmm. Next up, I think we're actually, I'd say we're probably nearly done. So what I'm going to do is, the thing that makes an owl very prominent is the fact that it's got really, really big eyes. So before I stick down my goggly eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw some big circles where I would like them to be. And I want them to really, really stand out. So I'm going to go for a colour that I've not used yet. So this nice, ochre browny colour. And that's also, I'm going to use some of that bronze Posca pen that you've got, Harris. Where did you put your brown? No, I love that. Maybe dot. Something else around it. So you really, really, really want these to stand out. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Actually, if I, I've not made those big enough, I need to make them even bigger. Goggly eyes are so big that they're not going to fit. And think of Merci, merci. We've gone for oval goggly eyes just because I had some. I thought that would be quite cool, but you can use whatever you want. And then you get it stuck in place. And I'm going to steal that glue just to make it really, really stand out. I haven't used any of these, but that'll help it have a lot of impact. Okay, so there we go. A wee paper owl. Tweet, tweet. So that's us for today. 
Um, that's nearly our living things topic finished. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start looking at the seaside, which will still be kind of living things. It must be just for that joint children. He's so cute, isn't he? Lovely. Well done, high five. Awesome. Right, you can go and disappear and I'll speak to say goodbye to everyone. Do you want to say bye to everyone? Bye bye. I'm just going to say goodbye. Um, so to next week's art lesson, I think what I was thinking about doing, oh, primary one, Sophie, you've kind of done this before already, but I thought we could maybe do some seaside landscapes to get us started. So looking at Mary Hendwick next week, who wrote all the Katie Marag books, she's the illustrator of the books as well, so we're going to look at the way she works. So next week you'll need some watercolours or watered down paint and some either a white crayon or a wax candle. That's it. And a brush and some water and a bit of paper. I'm saying that's it. So next week's a nice painting one. Um, also maybe a little photograph of yourself or you can draw a person that can stick on it. So that'll be next week and then there's only a couple of weeks left after that of turn. So we'll be looking at the beach for, for pretty much the, until the end of term. So looking at rock pools, looking at fish, looking at animals on the beach. And that'll be us. But as per usual, if there's anything you want to do, please just message me and I will try my best to do it. Tomorrow, if you're primary four to seven, I know Lucy, um, Lily, you were watching a second ago, but I don't know if you've gone now. Um, tomorrow we're doing masks, like paper masks, made out of paper, looking at 3D construction with paper. Um, you just really, to be honest with you, need a good quality piece of white paper or if you want to go for a coloured one, lots of different colour pieces, I'm just going to do a white one. And I'll see you tomorrow. So lots of love. Remember to post me your pictures once you've finished them and I'll make a wee folder for them and enjoy the sunshine. And I'm going to go and post this now so people can catch up later. Right. Love and hugs. You take care everybody. Bye bye.